Hey, it's Jay, and welcome to the Hands for Hire channel. Please consider subscribing. I started to make a video on how to inspect your roof with a drone, but before I could edit the video, this happened. Tropical Storm Dorian is moving west. 10 million people along the east coast of Florida could be at risk. Threatening to hit Florida as a major category four hurricane. There was a hurricane coming right for us. Unfortunately, it didn't hit us that hard. So I decided to not only give you tips on how to inspect a roof, but also the importance of capturing footage before and after the hurricane. So here we go. All the aerial footage in this video is shot with the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum. I can't tell you how easy it is to fly this drone. It has a ridiculous amount of stability even in high winds. First just do a visual inspection of the roof. Check to see if any of the shingles are buckling, curling, or blistering. Even more important, check to see if any shingles are missing or broken. Zoom in and take advantage of that 4K video. Also keep your eyes open for masses of moss or lichen, which is often associated with moisture and roof decay. Black algae stains are common, but not as harmful to your roof, mostly just cosmetic. They can be removed with a concentrated chlorine solution. Spray it in the problematic spots and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Wash it off with a low pressure hose so the shingles on the roof aren't damaged. You may need to repeat the process more than once. Next, zoom in on vent pipes to look for cracked or worn rubber boots. Check for cracked caulk or rust spots on the flashing. Finally, do an inspection of the gutters. Are they clogged? Do you see a collection of colored grit from the asphalt roof tiles? If so, this is a bad sign because the sand-like granules cover the surface of the roof shingles and shield from UV damage. Hurricane Dorian, now a Category 2 storm. Mandatory evacuations are in place for eight counties along Florida's The state of emergency in Florida has been expanded to include every county in that state. Okay, in respect to time, I'm just going to show you the areas that I saw as minor concerns. Overall, the roof looked fine, but there were a few things that caught my eye. The sun is low in the sky, so the roof shingles are casting shadows, but a couple of the shingles here look like they might be buckling, so this is one spot I'll check out later with a ladder. I continued to move along the roof shingles slowly with the drone, and I zoomed into certain spots. I tried to check flashing, I tried to zoom in around the vent pipes to see if I could see anything. It all checked out pretty well. When I look closely at some of the gutters, they filled up with some of that colored grit from the roof asphalt. Whenever you see a lot of these granules, you know Mother Nature's chipping away at your roof. This gutter has standing water and needs to be checked. You can see my drone reflecting in the water. We can confirm that those white spots are not bird poop, so it must be some sort of plaster or caulk that dried on top of the roof. I'm not too worried about it, but I'll go check it out anyway. So that's about it. I'd recommend doing a drone roof inspection every six to 12 months. 
just to make sure everything's up to par. The big storms coming into your area, I just recommend flying the drone up, taking some video before and after the storm, just so that if you need to put in some sort of insurance claim, you have video to back it up. Finally, our thoughts and prayers are with the Bohemians who got hit really hard with Hurricane Dorian. I'm going to leave a couple links in the description below of organizations that I know are helping those people. Donate to help them if you're able. Thanks. Oh,